Hi, my name's Lauren and welcome into the LTA Creation Studio. Today, I'm actually painting a commission. Yes, you can commission me to paint paintings for you. This is for Lamel. She saw my picture um, painting of angel wings, which she actually helped name originally. And the latest one, which you can catch on my YouTube channel, she loved the shape and the form of it but she really needed it in a different size and completely different colors. So that's what I'm gonna to do today. The color combination is very different for me, but I know it's going to work. I did a little bit of a trial. So we have bronze, gold, tea green, dioxazine purple, magenta. This is yellow by Craftsmart and this is deep yellow by Blick. Fire Opal, this is Venetian Red with some white added to it. This is kind of a similar color that's a homemade darker orange and then this is a homemade bright orange. I have three eight inch by 24 inch canvases or 20 centimeter by 60 centimeter canvases. This is probably my fourth Angel Wings painting. It is, I have painted one even smaller than this on a little um, triptych, which were four inch by 12 inch canvases. And it too is on my YouTube channel. I'll put a link for that up now. I only put a little bit of the green and a little bit of the magenta and a little bit of the purple on because my client really only wanted little pops of these colors, not too much of it. So I pretty much just dribble the paint on. Now is when you first can see that angel wing kind of shape that I'm going for. I'm pouring all the paint on. All my paints were mixed two parts flow troll to one part paint and then a little bit of water added to them. Just adding a little bit more green there. As I got to this point, I realized I didn't want to blow it out with a hairdryer. It would become too muddled. So I decided to blow it out with my breath instead. And that gave me a little bit more control over where the paint went, how much it spread, and gave me those little pops of color that I was looking for rather than just a blend of color. I keep working the paint, I remove paint, I put fresh paint over the top. At the moment, it's really about creating the right shape of the wings. There are really two parts to the wings that I wanted. There's the top, which is actually at the bottom of the screen at the moment. At the moment and I wanted that little wing at the bottom and I wanted that gap in between but I needed them to also flow from one canvas to the next canvas 
So you can see I'm adding paint and re-blowing it to get the right composition, the right shape that I wanted. And I continue to add paint throughout the painting. removing splotches, covering them over with the fresh white paint. And in this, what's at your top of the screen right now, I add more paint in because the colors were starting to get a bit too green and a bit too mottled. So I wanted little definite pops of definition and pops of color in there. So I added the purple and a little bit of the magenta to kind of get, and the yellow to get some contrast in there and some, just improve the overall composition of the painting. One of the great things about acrylic pouring is that you can take sections off and start again you can wipe over a canvas and you end up with a beautiful painting. There's so many different things that if you're not happy with the way you're going, you can, you can fix it, you can change it so you end up happy with your painting. It's not just a let's pour it and see what happens. Um, you need to stand back, take a look. Do you like the colours working together? Do you like the composition? And sometimes you make choices and... You end up not liking it as much as before. That's also one of the risks of acrylic pouring. But you can work on a painting to make it what you would really like it to be, just like a painter with a paintbrush would do. It's just in acrylic pouring you're using different tools, really. Sometimes it's a palette knife, sometimes it's a paper towel, sometimes it's your finger, your breath. Here are some highlights. I love this little pop here. And then I love how this little purple threads over to here. Quite nice this wing. I like it. And then there's really cute cells down here. Same as here. Some really light tiny cells. Thank you for tuning in and watching this. Remember, if you want to commission me, feel free to reach out. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I'll see you next time. Bye.